hello everyone welcome to the explanation so in this video tutorial i'll be discussing uh, old question discussion on topic constant constants variables and data types okay so from this topics uh, generally theory question is asked okay and the question can the no, marks for the question can range from 2 to 4 marks okay so uh, generally uh, some short questions are asked from this topics so um, the video will not be lengthy for this topic so let me start with the question so first question is first question is what is constants and explain its types okay so this question can be asked for four marks and this is a tag question tag question means um, it comes with a numerical okay so any other numerical can be asked with com in combination of this in combination with this question so let's go to the solution so what is constant okay so constant it refers to the uh, fixed value we can say okay it is a fixed value okay uh, that a program cannot change cannot change during its execution okay so this can be the definition of uh, constant and coming to different types of constants we have uh, four types of constants so namely integer constant second is real constant okay it is also called floating point constant third is character constant constant and fourth is string constant fine so let's discuss one by one these constants so first co uh, constant is integer constant okay so these integer constants they can be decimal value or octal value or hexadecimal value for example for integer constants we can write 5 minus 2 okay 0 3 4 some hexadecimal number a x 4 3 something like that so second one is real constant so this real constant is also called floating point constant okay so a floating and uh, a floating point constant okay it has a decimal point or fractional part we can say okay it can have a, it can have a integer part it has an integer part and a decimal part uh, or a fractional part we can say fractional part okay something like 2.3 like that so they are real constant next is character constant so character constant uh, they are generally generally they are represented within a single quote okay for example single quote within if x is there so this is a character constant example fine mm. next is even in single quote if you are placing an integer value so this also comes under uh, character constant next is string constant okay so string constants they are generally they are combination of they are generally combination of characters okay combination of characters or array of characters within within double quote o t e for example if you are writing this as programming under double quote so this is example of string constant fine so in this way you can and if you want to define a constant in our c programming so you can define it like this has define okay pi 3.14 okay similarly you can define any number so you can define has num in this way you can define a constant so these value are fixed they are not changed in the program fine so similarly if you want to define some uh, string so you can uh, define like this name and uh, fine 
going to question number two. Uh, question number two. So these are important questions. Generally, these are asked uh, in programs. So question number two is okay. Let me see. Fine. So question number two is why do we include stdio dot h in our program okay so uh, next tagging question is can we write a c program without using header file header file okay so we need to justify our question this has been asked in 2069 chaitra fine so why do we include stdio dot h so if you know this stdio dot h is our stdio h sorry stdio dot h is our header file okay similarly we have many more header files like mac dot h conio dot h string dot h so these are the header files okay so we need to define this header files we include this stdio dot h in our program because they consist okay because they consist of inbuilt functions okay inbuilt functions we can say or library functions we can say okay so while writing this um, uh, code in c program we generally use printf scanf statements fine so if you are using this printf scanf so these are called library function or inbuilt function okay so the properties of printf for example what does printf printf do so this printf is used to print a statement as it is okay so how do we know that this printf is used to print the statement as it is so the functionality of this printf is already included in the header file okay so in order to use this printf you have to use stdio.h in our program okay so this is the reason why we use this stdio.h now next question is uh, can we uh, can we write a c program without using header file yeah you can write a program used without using header file but you cannot use these functions for example in any program if you are not using printf and scanf so no need to include stdio.h okay so one real time example is generally we don't use math.h or string.h in every program okay we only use this header files whenever you we use the function related to math like pow or string like strcpy okay so like that only if you are not using any function that is included in stdio conio string or math so no need to write this but generally this doesn't happen in our program we generally use any of the library functions so for that reason we have to include this stdio dot h okay fine so next question is mm, next question let me see okay fine so next question is what is variable mm, let me go to the third question so third question is what is variable and what are the what are the rules to declare a variable okay so what is variable the answer is variable are generally they are the variable are the name used to refer okay refer some memory location memory location that holds a particular value we can say particular value okay so what does this variable tells it tells the compiler a variable tells the compiler that okay where and how much storage we need for the variable 
fine so for example um let me give you an example so for example if you are declaring int a so what do, what does happen is it in memory a memory location is allotted to this variable a of size 2 byte or 4 byte according to the because this integer can be of 2 byte or 4 byte according to the compiler so it can be it can allocate 2 byte or 4 byte i am saying okay so the moment you initialize int a in memory a location is okay uh, a block of uh, memory is initialized to this variable a of size 2 bytes okay so for example if you are doing this float num so the moment you declare this float m float num what happens is in memory there is a memory location whose name is num and the size is 4 bytes fine so this is we can say this is the definition of variable next question is what are the rules to declare um, to uh, define a variable so first rule is okay first rule is um, your variable cannot start your variable cannot start with a let me write this variable cannot start with a special character character okay so we can start a variable with letter from a to small z and a to capital z we can also start a variable with underscore okay so underscore num this is a correct declaration fine but you cannot use a special character in, in uh, like declare while declaring a variable for example num dollar like that uh, so next is um, C program is case sensitive okay case sensitive so your variable name should be same like of same uh, either it should be in a small letter or capital letter we can say uh, next is okay so next can be our variable can start with special character a to z and a to z you can also use number with this so your variable can start with underscore fine so other rules you can see and write okay so for two marks i think four uh, this four statements are enough for this Okay, so generally this question is asked from 2 to 4 marks. So if it is asked for 4 marks, you can write definition for 2 marks and then other part for 2 marks. Okay, so according to the, uh, you know, the according to the marks, you have to write the points. Let's go to next question. So it is, um, okay, so size of data type. Okay, size of data type, if you see this question size of data types so we have integer which can be of 2 or 4 bytes according to the compiler we can say char it, it is of 1 byte ok float it is of 4 byte and double it is of 8 bytes okay fine let's uh, let's go to next question which is okay fine so next question is uh, question number five i guess what is identifier and what are the rules to declare what are the rules to declare this identifier okay so the rules will be same so what is an identifier so identifier these are the these are the names okay or words used in C program okay so this is used to identify identify names of variables 
functions okay so any name you are using a function name name of array name of pointers so all of these all these are called identifier fine so the rules will be uh, the first first character should be either alphabet alphabet or underscore and it can be followed by number it should not be begin it should not begin with digit okay identifier are case sensitive they are case sensitive okay next is space is not allowed not allowed okay so for example if you are writing simple interest so you cannot write simple space interest no okay next is keywords cannot be used fine so initially i i, de I declared some four points so 5 6 7 8 uh, so now we have eight distinct points for the rule of um variables and identifiers fine let's go to next question so next question is uh okay so let me see if there are some questions left okay so what is keyword the same question number 7 so the next question is what is keywords okay next is how many keywords are there in c name uh 10 keywords fine so at least remember 10 to 20 keywords if you want so what is a keyword keywords are called reserve words in c they are the reserved word in c okay that have a particular meaning okay so you cannot use this keyword um you cannot use this keyword these keywords as a uh, variable or identifier okay you can never use this okay so there are 32 keywords in c programming okay so this question this is uh, important for mcq also there are 32 keywords in c and naming some keywords we can have uh int okay float case default char continue break okay sort default okay case constant size of okay a number of keywords are there okay you can check this so i think from this chapter uh, these are the questions that can be asked so remember from this chapter only the questions can be uh, of type sort questions okay so it can be a tag question that is a question with another question fine so 2 to 4 marks so prepare this much uh, for your exam uh, thank you for watching my video so next i'll be covering next i'll be making videos on topic operators and expressions fine so stay safe and thank you